All right, boys and girls, this is the rest of the story of Naaman. And I want to let you in on a little secret. Sometimes it's hard for adults to do the right thing and adults to obey. I know some days I have trouble doing the right thing. It's because I want to do what I want to do instead of always listening to God and doing the right thing. So in our story, we're going to see how Naaman kind of had trouble at first obeying and doing what was right. So do you remember how the little servant girl had told Naaman's wife that Elisha, the man of God in Israel, had God's power to help Naaman? Did the king of Syria send Naaman to the right person? No, the king of Israel could not heal leprosy. When Elisha heard about all the confusion, he quickly asked for Naaman to come see him. Well, when Naaman arrived, Elisha sent a servant out to talk with him. The servant gave Naaman these instructions. Do you remember what those instructions were? The servant of Elisha told Naaman to go and wash yourself in the Jordan River seven times and you will be healed of your leprosy. Does that sound pretty easy? Just do it seven times. You guys can count to seven. Mm. But did Naaman want to obey? No, he didn't want to obey. Why should a servant tell him what to do? Besides, the Jordan River was really dirty. And who would get clean in a dirty river? And so Naaman said, I have a lot cleaner rivers near my house. Why don't I just do that? And so he started to turn around and go the other way. Well, Naaman's servants knew that Naaman was wrong to leave. And they cared about Naaman. And they wanted Naaman to obey Elisha's servant and be healed of his leprosy. And they said, Sir, if the man of God had asked you to do a great thing, like let's say leading an army or fighting in a battle, would you have done it? Mm, Naaman got to think, yeah, if I had to do something great and hard, I would think that would heal me. But this was easy. Just go dip in the river seven times. So Naaman had all the trouble obeying too. He did not want to do what Elisha told him to do, even though he could be healed of the terrible disease if he chose to obey. Well, Naaman realized his servants were right, and so he drove his chariot down to the Jordan River. Naaman went down to the river and got into the water. Now, Naaman dipped under the water for the first time. So you should have a one-up. So put your one finger up. So listen as I read and see if you can keep up. Remember how many times? Seven. Okay, so we're at one. And as he came up out of the water, he may have looked at his skin to see if there had been any change. Was he healed yet? Nope. So he went down again. Okay. All right. So he dipped down again into the water, and still there was no change. So he went down again. How many is that? Three. Yes, he went down again. But was leprosy gone? No. What did God say? He said seven times. That's what he needs to do. So then he went down again. Four times. And again, five times. Six times. But each time he came up, the leprosy was still there. How many more does he need to make seven if we're at six? One more time. And so Naaman did it. And he dipped down one more time. This is the seventh time. And he had finally obeyed. And this time, when Naaman came up out of the water, his skin was as soft as a baby's skin. It was so smooth. And the leprosy was gone. His skin was as soft as a baby's. How thankful Naaman was. He and all of his men drove their chariots back to Elisha's house. And Naaman said to the prophet, Now I know that there is one true God, the God who can heal. He is the only God, the God of Israel. I will never again worship any other gods except the one true God. Naaman was not cured from his leprosy until he trusted that God would heal him and obeyed. Even though he was told to do something he did not want to do, Naaman learned that when he obeyed, God blessed him by healing him. Boys and girls, God doesn't want us to obey just part of what he says. He wants us to obey all the way, even if it's hard. So we've talked about cleaning your room. When your mom or dad tells you to clean your room, and maybe you only pick up just the Legos, or girls, maybe just the dolls, but you have a lot of other things to clean up. You need to do all of it. Also, if you're told to clean your room and you grump around about it and mm, you're just a big grump while you do it and you say, fine, I'll do it. 
You know, God says to obey cheerfully too. And Naaman wasn't very cheerful at first, but he got really cheerful after he was healed and God blessed him for his obedience. So I want you to be thinking about that while we're apart. I want you to be obeying your parents, doing what's right, and having a happy heart about it. All right, see you next time.